Crafty Gemini. I post weekly crafting, cooking, and organic gardening videos right here on my YouTube channel. In this video, we're tackling a super easy and great beginner project for my fleece reversible beanie hat. I am providing you with the pattern, so no worries. You can click in the description box below and there'll be a direct link there on where you can download the PDF for this hat in two sizes, one for adults and another one for a child size. So the one I'm wearing is the adult size and then I made one here for my daughter in a little child size. They had this really cute leopard print fabric with a bunch of colors. I did that side like that and then the other side is just solid black with a little bit of that leopard print fabric that's creeping out underneath, okay? So let's go over the materials that we'll need and let's start making some fleece beanies. So here I have a variety of fleece fabrics that I got from fabricdiva.com. They have a ridiculous selection and it's really at a great price so you guys should definitely check them out. I'll include a link underneath this video here on YouTube where you can click and find these different varieties. They're also going to be running a sale just for the Crafty Gemini view where you can get smaller chunks of the fleece and basically it's going to be just enough fabric for you to make these type of hats okay so here you see one I made it with this colorful leopard print which I think is super cute and then I just did black on the other side so of course like my previous fleece hat tutorial this is completely reversible as well and so I'm gonna show you here how to tell the difference between the right side and the wrong side. In this one, it's going to be quite easy because we have text on the fabric. So if I'm looking at the word love this way, I can read it correctly so I know that this is the pretty side. Whereas if I flip it to the back side, you can obviously see that the words are now backwards. So this is going to be the ugly side or the wrong side of your fabric, okay? So if it has text print on it, it's real simple to tell. Otherwise, you can just take the fleece, and pull on it from selvage to selvage. So just tug on it like this. You can see it rolls right there and fleece is going to roll towards the wrong side or the ugly side of the fabric. So now I know this is the back side and this is the right side. So that was simple. Let's get started. I want to show you with just a little bit of fleece fabric that you need to create one of these hats, okay? So we're going to go with these two chunks right here. One of these I believe is only eight inches about nine inches and the other one is going to be more like 12 inches. So I've already cut out the child size one but I'll show you how to do the adult one. You're just gonna print out the PDF and I'll link to the pattern below, okay, right in the description box you'll be able to print this out in two sizes, adult and child. And once you print it out make sure that you're setting your printer to print the PDF at its actual size. Don't do like fit to page because if you do, it's going to make it a little bit smaller. So just print it at 100% or actual size. And then we're going to cut out these pieces. And remember that I always include this one inch square for you to double check and make sure that you're printing it correctly to scale. So I'm going to cut out this piece down here. After you've cut these out, what I like to do is cut the smaller piece right to the black line where it starts and ends. And then on the longer piece, I leave some excess there so that I can have some overlap. When I go to put this one on top, you want the black lines to, st to match up exactly right where the other one ends. And then I'm just going to take a little piece of tape and put it right there. And that's going to be our headband piece. And then we just need to cut out the template for the top. And now we can use our pattern pieces. So we're starting off with the black fabric. I have a small piece here, just eight inches by the width of the fleece fabric. It's doubled up. So there's plenty here to make our hat. We can cut out four like this, and I can cut them out two at a time. And notice that your pattern pieces tell you that you want the stretch going from left to right along the pattern piece. So if you line it up so that the both selvages are here towards your right side, if I tug, this is the stretch of my fabric. And carefully go around with my rotary cutter. There I have two, and I need to cut out four, okay? So we have two. I'm going to turn it over so I can scoot this further and make the most of my fabric. And now we need to cut out two of these, okay? And to do that, first we look at the instructions. It says place on fold. This end needs to be on a fold. This is not folded, so I'm going to have to turn this over and still keep the orientation going this way because, again, I need the stretch going left to right along this pattern piece when I place it there. So let's open this up gonna fold it just enough to get the piece I need and I have my fold right where it needs to be. 
So there's one. So this hat is going to be for me, so I'm just going to use two different solids and I'm going to play around with how I orient them and I'll show you that in a bit. But you can definitely choose to do a print on a, a solid like this. Remember, since it's reversible, you can totally play around with it because you're getting two hats in one. You can do prints like this, prints that have text on it like this one. Okay, they have a huge variety of different fleece fabrics over at FabricDiva.com, so definitely check them out. Okay, so again, I'm lining up my fabric. I have my selvages on this end, and remember the stretch is going selvage to selvage, like that. There's two. We've got our four. And then again, our headband, which needs to be placed on the fold, and we only need to cut out one of those. So I'm folding this. So you should end up with four of the dome-shaped pieces for the top part of your hat, four from each fabric, and then one headband piece from each fabric, okay? Now we're going to head over to our sewing machine and we're going to sew the dome-shaped pieces together in twos. And to do that, you're going to have to lay them pretty side to pretty side. So if you can't remember how you cut it, just remember that the stretch is going left to right. So if I tug on this, it's going to roll towards the wrong side. So I know this is the wrong side. And this is going to be, let me see, okay, so this is pretty to pretty side. So we're going to start sewing anywhere here on the center and just come all the way down using a quarter inch seam allowance. And do that to every one of these sets. And I'm just going to come in somewhere here in the center, take a stitch or two, and then I'm going to come around this way, riding along the curve line. So now I'm putting pretty side to pretty side and matching along that center seam. And now I'm going to put a pin. And since the fleece is quite bulky, you want to make sure you have one seam going one way and the other one coming the other direction. So it doesn't get too bulky there, okay? I'm starting off here. I'm going to use my quarter inch seam allowance, come around the curve right here, and come all the way down. And you can see the top of the first I'm going to repeat the same thing with these guys here, pretty to pretty, and put a pin right at the center. Now we can sew our headband pieces, layer it so it's pretty side touching pretty side, and we're going to stitch along this edge here, quarter inch seam allowance straight down. Now we can layer these up the way they need to be sewn. And if you want to do it so that it's solid on each side, you can sew this one to this, but what I'm going to do, this one's for me, and I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to add the black headband to the pink top, and then the pink headband here. So it's going to be reversible in either one of these um, combinations. So I think that'll look cute. So here, I've kept this the same way we sewed it, okay? Meaning you should be looking at the ugly side of the fabric. And that's the way you want to have this one. The hat, you want to have it facing out the way it's supposed to look. And then we're going to split this like this so that we line up the seam that we sewed here with one of these center seams. It doesn't matter which one. This is just going to signify for us the back of our hat, okay? So that the front doesn't have a seam. This is going to be shown on the front side and you have a smooth front headband piece matched up with the seam on the band piece. And I'm going to pin it right there. And notice how I'm layering this. I'm layering it so that the pretty side of the hat is touching the pretty side of the band. That's how you should do it, okay? And so let's just drape this all around here, matching up all these raw edges. Okay, you see that? That's how it should look. And I'm going to repeat the same thing to this one. So I have my hat pretty side facing out. I have the band piece ugly side facing out, the side where I can see the seam. I'm going to pick any one of these seams and line up this one along one of them. That's going to mean the back of our hat. Okay, like that. So now we're just going to stitch around the entire circle. To do that, I need to remove the extension table here from my machine. It's going to allow us to sew in a circle a lot easier, okay? And remember that you're again using that quarter inch seam allowance. So let's do the same thing to the other piece. And now we want to sew these two together to create the reversible hat. First, let's find these center seams, okay? So this you see how we have a seam here going straight down into the band? There should only be one area where you see that, going straight down to the band. That means these two parts are our back side, okay? Make sure that you line them up, both of them together. So I have this seam and this seam. I'm going to put them here together. 
and then I'm just gonna flip this hat over the other one. So we'll go back here, fix this up to make sure that those back center seams match. Put a pin right there. And we're gonna do the same thing. Match along the raw edges all the way around your hat and pin in place. Okay, now we wanna decide where we're gonna leave an opening so we can flip the whole thing out through. I generally will go with from the center seam, not right there, like a little bit over from here. You put a pin to mark it over to here. And you don't really need more than about a two inch opening to flip the whole thing out through. So I'm going to start stitching here, back stitch. I'm going to stitch all the way around until I come back to this pin and back stitch. So I leave this opening right here and we'll turn the whole hat out through that opening, okay? Again, is a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm coming back around to that other pin that marks my opening here. So I'm going to take a few back stitches, stop, cut my threads, take out that last pin, and there's my opening. So now I'm going to reach in here. So you end up with something crazy looking like this. What we're going to do is now tuck one inside the other. So here's going to be one look, and then the other look is going to be the opposite of that. And then we want to make sure that we're tucking in where we have our opening. I just pull on the ends a little bit. I'm just going to put a pin right there. And we're going to stitch this all the way down around, okay? And then I'm just going to stitch real close to this outer edge here. And then when you go to wear it, always remember that the line that has the seam going all the way down is the back side. And now some awesome news. Our friends at FabricDiva.com are offering up an awesome sale on their fleece fabrics just for the Crafty Gemini viewers. So if you want to make this fleece beanie or if you want to make my ear flap hat, the one that's similar like this, and it has the ear flaps coming down, I'll link you to that video tutorial right there. And basically the little bundles of fleece fabric that FabricDiva.com is going to be selling to you are gonna be in perfect sizes for you to create different types of fleece hats, whether it be this beanie or the one with the ear flaps. So I definitely suggest you head on over, check them out. They're gonna be giving you guys free shipping also. Check out the sales that they're running and check out the rest of their fleece selection so you can start making these really cute and easy projects. A huge thanks to our friends at FabricDiva.com for offering up such a cool giveaway prize and an awesome sale just for the Crafty Gemini viewers. So I appreciate that. Thank you all so much. I want to thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit it with the thumbs up below. Share it across the different social media sites. Make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new video tutorials and giveaways. Good luck to everyone entering the giveaway, and I'll see you guys next time.